So we talked about the fact that you have plasma coming down through the afferent arteriole, and some of the fluid in that plasma gets squeezed out here at the glomerulus. And the fraction that gets squeezed out is called the filtration fraction, and so that's the GFR divided by the renal plasma flow. But now what about the solutes, for example, sodium? How much sodium gets out here? Well, it turns out that since sodium can easily get out of these capillaries, because it's just one atom, it gets split up exactly the same way that the fluid does, that the water does. So, in other words, if the filtration fraction is 20% or 0.2, that means that 20% of the water coming through this afferent arteriole will get filtered, and also 20% of the sodium coming through this arteriole will get filtered. And the remaining 80% will go back through the efferent arteriole. So to make this really clear, let's say you have one liter of fluid coming down through the afferent arteriole. How much of that is going to get filtered, and how much is going to go back through the efferent arteriole? Well, if we said the filtration fraction is 20%, then that means that 200 milliliters will be filtered here at the glomerulus, and the remaining 800 milliliters will go back out through the efferent arteriole. And then let's say that in this one liter of water, we had about three grams of sodium dissolved. How much of that is gonna get filtered here, and how much of that is gonna go back out through the efferent arteriole? Well, it works exactly the same way as with the water. So three grams coming in, 20% of three grams is 0 0.6 grams, or 600 milligrams, and the rest is gonna go back out this way, and that's 2.4 grams. Now something that's kind of obvious is that the amount that's coming down through the afferent arteriole has to be equal to the amount that's filtered plus the amount that's going back out through the efferent arteriole, because there's simply nowhere else it can go. But sometimes people give this a fancy name, this concept, and they call it mass balance. So if you ever hear this term, you know it's just referring to that simple idea. Now that concept always holds, but the idea that 20% of the stuff coming down the afferent arteriole gets filtered is not always true. So albumin, for example, should have about 0% of it come out through the capillaries because it's too big and charged. So all the albumin coming in should be going out through the efferent arteriole. And then there might be some substances in between sodium and albumin in the sense that some of it gets out through the glomerular capillaries, but less than 20%. And so that would be true of a substance that has a harder time getting through the three layers here but not quite as hard of a time as albumin.